Oh, what's up, guys? Look. Look, okay? It's time for another episode of Roasting My Subscribers Way. It's like I said, I'm going to try to keep pushing these more out consistently for you guys to just really unflub my DMs. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not going to waste no more time. We're we going to get into this episode of Roasting My Subscribers Ways. I don't know what episode this is. I think it's like episode 8. I don't know. We're we just going to get into it. So, we, I, already, I already got my phone. Now it's time to go ahead and time to get to the spot. All right, guys. So this is what we got going on. All right. Now we're gonna basically just we're gonna we're gonna pick somebody to actually do this. So we got win win we win we win three. I don't I don't really know how to say it, but oh, so here we go. Let's see what he got. All right, all right. I see, you, bro. I see, you, bro. So it looks like your top and your sides is pretty connected. It's pretty good, you know, right now. Um. But I'd say your weak area is your back. So what you got, what you will want to do, man, is I'd say brush that weak area first, and then what you're gonna want to do is then you're really gonna uh, then brush the rest of your head. You really want to attack those weak areas first, and then you want to go ahead and and then brush the rest of your head. Of course, the weak spot also after you're done, you know, and you move on to the rest of your head. But the reason is that so you really put some more attention on that weak area than rather than the rest of your head. So then that weak area gets fixed. And then again, you won't get forks in any other areas because you're not even putting the work in. So what I probably give you is I probably give you about an eight because I mean it's just that I only really see that one area. Maybe close your crown up a little bit more, but you're pretty good. All right, next is Hump, Humps the barber, or whatever. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you're a barber if you're not. Well, you've been probably you've been trying to get rated since February 23rd. We we gonna get you, bro. We gonna get you right now. So. This is what you look. This is what you look like February twenty third. Your back and your sides weren't really that good. So back then I'd probably tell you I'd be like, hey, you're probably gonna want us to put some more work in on your sides and in your back because this looks like you're giving too much attention to your uh, top. And then now let's see how you're doing. All right. Oh, oh, I don't like that. No, no, blowing me. No, I don't like that. Trying to blow me kisses and stuff. No, close that. All right, we're gonna close that. He over there. Give me kisses and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that now. Don't don't blow me no kisses now. But um, what I probably say about you, man, is I probably say don't blow me no more kisses. All right, I don't like that. I don't like that from no dudes now. I don't 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 blow me no more kisses now. But um, I probably say you know what? It looks like you probably need a wolf. It probably looks like you need a wolf a little bit more. I probably say go for twelve weeks. Um, or a little bit more if you want to. But twelve weeks is pretty good enough. Um, mostly because of you're, it looks like you're losing weight the higher, like, the closer you get to your crown, which means that you're really not letting your hair get to its curl length before you cut. We got you right here. All right, you've been trying to get rated since February 23rd. February 23rd. Man, I really, y'all really was trying to get in these videos. But he, he's looking pretty good right now. All right, you guys can see his top is getting in there. It looks more like a beginner, which is fine. But, um... Yeah, and then he says, okay, still working on my size. Now, this is a common problem. This is a common problem that really happens uh, when it comes to when it comes to waivers, when it, especially beginner waivers, is that your side isn't waving up, but your back and your top is. Now, this is only because your sides, they grow, they're, they're shorter. When you cut it, it, sh it seems shorter than the top and the back of your head. Um, this is because you're... Uh, when your sides, right, your sides just become thinner. So what you really need to do when you have this problem is you really need a wolf. Like I said, usually a 12-week wolf is good enough. If you don't feel like that's good enough, then you go ahead and you um and you wolf a little bit longer than that. Like straight hair waivers, we can really wolf longer. You really need a wolf longer than that. So if, if that's if that's what your problem is. Um, all right, same thing. You probably need to close up your crown a little bit, it seems like. Just close up that crown a little bit and... From, from the angle I'm seeing here. And then this is, he said he got a more recent photo. I don't know, it kind of seems like, like you're putting too much product in. That's what it seems like. In this photo, it looks like you got a little bit too much product in because your hair looks wet, but it's not wet because if your hair was really that wet, it'd be laying more flat. Um, so that looks like you put a little bit too much uh, curling product in. You don't really need that much. You don't need that much. Uh, so really, you really need only about a dime size amount unless you really have that much hair on your head. Um, so really, to be honest, what I'd say with you is stop using that much product and brush it in until it dries. That's really all I can say with you. Um, oh, by the way, I rate you, I rate you about a, um, I rate you about a seven. You know Mike. He up next. All right, here we go. 
All right. Oh, my boy spin it. What? boy spin. I see you, bro. Oh, I see you, bro. Close up that crown a little bit, but you spinning, bro. You dang near spinning. Anybody can get wet. See, this proves that anybody could get wet. It shows. But, hey, what I say is you spinning. Wolf a little bit more to get that crown a little bit thicker over there. And um, if you're not wolfing already, it looks like you got a good amount of hair on your head already. Um, but uh, let this be inspiration. Let this be inspiration right here. He is spinning. Don't anybody can get wet. But, hey, I rate you a solid eight because you're spinning. You just got some forks. Close up that crown a little bit. So here we go. Here we go. We got another one real quick. Here we go. All right. It looks like a royalty brush. It's like one of those triangle brushes. I've never had one of those brushes before. But see, he got the light on it so I can see. But what I'd say is, look, us, us straight hair ravers, man, we got big foreheads. All right. Like, look look at how much fringe I got on my, like, it's before, like, it comes over. Fringe, if you guys don't know what fringe is, fringe is basically when hair covers over your natural lineup. Now, he has all that fringe right there, all right? It's covering over his natural lineup, which makes his lineup not look crispy. And unless he's wolfing, it should not be there. So, hey, stop being afraid because you got a big forehead. You got to get used to it sometime, you know what I'm saying? We all can't be like yo fine and get the little pompadour because we're straight hair wavers. We can't do that. But what I say is I say cut that off, cut that fringe off so you can have a nice, sharp lineup. And then... Um, I'd say um, you know what you're doing when it comes to the waves. When it comes to the waves and not looking at your lineup, looks like you know what you're doing. You got a little bit of forks. Uh, your crown is starting to wave up a little bit, which is good. So I feel like you know what you're doing. Your waves is laid. Your waves is shiny. Hey, you know what you're doing. So keep doing what you're doing. Over time, it will progress to get better and better. But I give you a solid eight. I give you a solid eight. Oh, here we go. He sent me a new picture. This crown is closed. Look how better that looks when your crown is closed. Oh, you just need to close that up a little bit right there. But, hey, you spin it. Wolf a little bit to get that crown a little bit thicker. Um, so you spin it pretty much. Taper wearing off. I was going to say taper. But your crown your tapers wearing off. But um, that's all I really got to say. Close up that crown a little bit more. Your ways is getting there. You're probably going to need to put in some comb work, like some serious comb work. Put in some comb work to get that connection strong. And uh, I think you'd be good after that. I feel like you'd be good. So wait, you, you really need to come out and wait for me to see. Uh, or you need to wait to see when my video comes out about how much you should actually be combing. So wait for that video to come out. That video is going to help a lot of you guys out there. So you guys might want to stay tuned for that. Uh, go ahead. Y'all need, need to subscribe because that, that's... Y'all need to be notified when I'm dropping that video. So you guys might as well go ahead down, down, down here. You know, down here. If you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it. Because, I mean, y'all going to want to see that video. That video is going to be fire. There's a video that all you guys are going to need. Uh, we're going to see what you're working with. Roast my ways, bro. Let me just say right now, you in school. You in school. Now, now, now you see why most teachers don't allow us to brush our hair in school. Because look, you you in school, you got a phone out over your head, and you comb it trying to make a video, trying to put in th trying to be in 360 words video. And how long? You been trying to be in my video since February 12th. God dog, my dude. But um, you know what? You comb it, your hair is pretty daggone straight, and you getting there, bro. You, you, you getting there. All right, I can see your hair ain't at a, that big of a length. So I say you probably got a haircut about not too long ago. But uh I gotta wait for him to comb it back down so I can see what he's working with. But um and by the way, when you comb your stuff back, don't don't have your comb do I gotta comb don't have your comb like this. Don't have your comb like like this going backwards. Alright, don't do that. You lay it flat on your head and then go backwards. If, if you're gonna comb back, alright? But yeah, you spin it. Uh, you, you need to work on your connections rather than combing back your stuff. You forgot a piece right there. I know y'all see it. It's right there. But it's cool. Um, let's check out the other video. Yeah, you, you really need to work on your connections. Don't really worry about combing back until your hair is fully trained and, and really, you know, connected. And, yeah. and um, I'd say you know you know your patterns. So, so you know the angles that you need to brush. So you know what you're doing when it comes to brushing. Don't forget, A... Hey, on, when it comes to your uh, left side, don't don't be afraid to switch your hands and actually use your left hand. It helps with connections on your left side, so you're not messing up your angles. Uh, but other than that, I feel like you're good. I'll give you a solid uh, six because you're really not connected right now. Ooh, I like that tape. Actually, the tape ain't that clean. I mean, okay, 
It's clean, but it's not that clean. It, it could be cleaner, okay? But he's still looking fresh, all right? He's still looking fresh. His waves pop out a lot more because he has a cut. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what's wrong with this cut. I know I know I'm not roasting, roasting haircuts, okay? I know I'm not roasting haircuts, but here we go. Look at here. Look at here. There's a lot of bulk going on here. The design in the back is clean, though. Design in the back is clean. I'm not going front. Um, look, it's just... It, it, it just could be better. You know what I'm saying? It just could be better. It's, I still see the ball guy line right here where he, he probably could have took some liners or whatever. Probably clip her over, comb that. Here. It looks like your barber was a little afraid to fade that in, uh, to be honest, because just look at that choppiness in that blend. It goes from light to dark automatically. There's no transition. Um, the only transition is from when he was using probably like the lever open. And then maybe the one guard, but then he got into the big bulk of hair and got scared and didn't want to fade. But it's cool. You didn't cut your own hair. I ain't going to talk. But what I do got to say is we roasting ways. We roasting ways. Is you probably you probably go home and you brush with that softy and you put in the comb work and you put some curling hairs to smoothie in there. Your ways is going to pop. All right. But I'd say to you is do not wash your hair automatically. Wait. Wait a week. To wash your hair okay you should have already washed your hair before you went and got a haircut so that that wash is gonna last you the next week all right so don't go get a wash you're gonna lose hella progress I don't care what you guys say is oh I, I wash my hair on well are you elite that's the thing are you elite after you wash it because you lose all that progress you gotta put a hell of work after that it's not worth it don't do it wait a week for your wash but I say right now you looking like a you looking like a six right now from when I look at it you probably would have jumped up to an eight after you got home and you know put in some work but that's what I'm gonna give you bro all right we're gonna see okay 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 I'm trying not to judge this right off the bat it's more like your haircut and it's affecting your ways but without looking at your haircut I would say you in there probably need a comb session, uh, but keep brushing though. I gotta say. I don't know why you're making that sound, but it's cool. All right, um, we say he's a 180 weight, so that cleared that up for me already. But that's what I was worried about. I was like, man, that taper is hot, but he's probably got a uh, very low fade. You spin. You're spinning. Your waves is popping. They're shining. You've probably been a minute since you got a haircut. Again, don't be afraid to go up to your natural lineup. That's the only way that your lineups are going to be crispy. It's okay to have a big forehead. To be honest, this dude right here, you won't even have that big of a forehead, right? Like, your, head, your forehead won't be that big. So go ahead. Push your lineup back to your natural lineup so you can stay crispy um, and not have your lineup doing swirls and everything on you. Now, the reason why your hair does that it's because your your front lineup is curling up. It's curling, and that's why it makes it looks weird. All right, but if you push it back to your natural lineup, you will stay crispy. All right, tell your barber don't be afraid to line you up. Um, but you good, you good. You know, you fade crispy. And the hair, rest of the haircut is good. I mean, I give you a solid eight just based on your weight since you're a 180 weight. But solid eight, I feel like you know. Nah, never mind. I give you nine. You you deserve a nine. Been in, trying to get on since March 23rd. All right, in the garage, huh? Oh, you a barber, huh? You a barber's barber. All right, I see. All right, now, like I said, as you guys can see in this picture right here, you guys can see that brushing a little bit too much on the top. Now, that could be me just being wrong because his hair does grow faster on top. But, I mean, you still got to put in the rest of the work on the sides and in the back. Um, so, keep brushing, bro. You really need to keep brushing. And stay tuned for my combing video because you're going to want to see that because I can tell you're going to need some combing action. Let me see. Let me see what we rocking with. Is this a video? No, just a picture? All right. Only showing me the top. You really must be a 180. He is only show Okay, video looks like. Video. Hold on. All right. Get another do-rag, bro. That don't look like a silky. Get a silky. That look like a wave builder do-rag. We don't do wave builders. But your hair is laid down and it is looking shiny. So you know what you doing. You know what you doing, though. But again, I need the waves on the side and the back, bro. Once it's over, it. you in it. You in the game, bro, once you do that. Once you get that together, it's over. It. Just keep brushing. Get your stuff together. I swear you're going to be, oh, you're going to be spinning, bro. You're going to be spinning. Uh, 
put me on roasting next roast of my subscribers or well, you on here so i mean congrats roast my trash straight hair waves we're gonna see i wouldn't say trash but you do need a little comb in action Then you roasted yourself. I wasn't even gonna roast you. You spin it. You spin it. What, what I gotta roast you for? What I gotta roast you for? What I gotta roast you for, bro? Your crown is closed, bro. It's just, it's just like this one wave right here that's killing you. If I can track it down. Right there. If you, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like right there. Like you guys see it's like right here. That's the only way that's off. Anything else though. I mean I only seen your top I think. Hold on let me check the other video because I stopped the other video pretty short. But that's like that only way right there. Like hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to track it down for you guys. Okay. Okay. Nope. I wasn't going to roast you. You want to be light skin. I'm just. <laughs> I just playing. But look. That one way right there. Fix that, bro. You good. I'm trying to tell you. You spin it. You in the game. Just don't do the... the no. <laughs> don't do that. The, I'm about to, the boy, you know, you know what I'm saying? But you spin it. Your ways ain't trash. Just put in some cone work. Again, stay tuned for the video that's going to be coming out. You guys, you might want to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you guys can get uploaded when I make that video for you guys. Because that video is going to be straight heat. Tell me y'all, y'all gonna want it, y'all gonna want to see that video. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like the video if you like the video, because why would you like the video if you like the video? And don't forget to drop a comment down below because you guys already know when you guys comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe because we're dropping fire videos just like this one. And don't forget to